Good morning, children. Today, I am here to discuss about needs and want, chapter number nine. Now, um, I came to know, or uh, I have just learned that many of you are not reading the chapter well. Well, uh, I would like to request all of you, as I told you earlier in the classes also I used to tell you that it is very necessary for you to read the chapter very well because until and unless you are able to read the chapter properly, you will not be able to answer the questions because in the exams or maybe in any kind of assessment or evaluation as you can for for the subject history i will most mostly the questions will come from inside the book as i always tell you and I, I always advise you that it is very necessary for you to read the chapter very well because I am going to always give you questions from inside the book. So until and unless you are not reading the book correctly, you will not be able to answer those questions. So it is very necessary that you need to that you read the chapter well you ask questions or you if you find any problem you can very well ask me or you can take the help of your parents or you can take the help of any subject teacher or any subject related queries you can ask in the telegram app now we have read this particular chapter quite well um, three or four videos I have done on this particular chapter chapter um, already assignment 9 you are doing assignment 9 has two questions question number one you will have to draw the answers and question number two you do uh, sorry not draw the answers uh, question number one will you will have to draw whatever is asked from you I have asked you to draw the uh, different types of needs and wants and uh, question number two I have given you small pictures of people who help us no need of drawing those i have not asked to draw those i have just asked you to write the answers uh, serially in the order which has been provided and write the correct answer in the blanks provided no need to draw any of the pictures given in as question number two of assignment nine i'm sure i'm clear about it and um, i know that we have read this particular chapter quite a number of times um, we know what our needs what our needs needs are something which is very important for our survival like we have food which we eat we have a water which we drink we have a house uh, which protects us from heat cold rain etc we are have clothes which also protects us as well as keep us warm during the winter season and also keeps us uh, it, we do not get wet in the you know, rainy season when we use different kinds of um, things like raincoats or maybe umbrellas etc etc so these are the basic needs which a human being needs However, apart from that, when we are living in a modern society, there are some other things also which are considered to be our needs. Like we have mm, uh, a pencil. It's very necessary because you cannot write without it. If you need a pencil, you need a rubber as well. Sorry, eraser as well. You need a sharpener as well. You need copies. You need books. You need to go to school. You should have your proper uniform. You need a bag. You need a water bottle. You need a, a, a tiffin box. So these are also something which comes under necessity or comes under need nowadays. However, the basic needs without which we cannot live at the end of the day still goes on like this. We need food to, for, to eat. We need water to drink, we need clothes to protect ourselves, we need house to protect ourselves from outside enemies. So apart from that, in this particular chapter, we also learn about uh, people who help us. We have some people around us who helps us in our day-to-day -day life. As you know, we cannot build our own house. We cannot uh, mend our own shoes. We cannot stitch our own clothes. We need somebody who actually can help us with these things. We need somebody to grow our crops. We need somebody to protect. We need somebody to look after us while we are ill. We need somebody to help us to build a house. We need somebody to stitch our clothes. Clothes. So these are the things actually necessary for us as I told you earlier. So people who does these things for us are someone who helps us. 
so we are actually dependent each and every person is actually dependent on others for everything now you will you may ask a question that ma'am who who is building a house can build their own house yes they can build their own house but can they grow crops can they mend their shoes can they stitch their clothes no so a person who stitches clothes can stitch their own clothes but they cannot grow crops neither they can make house so we are actually when we are living in this society we are actually dependent upon each and every other for our needs mostly like us the people who usually do jobs this kind of people are actually dependent upon everything we cannot grow our own crops we cannot uh, make our own house we cannot mend our own shoes we cannot stitch our own clothes so we are actually dependent upon many people around us in exercise uh, sorry assignment 9 i have already provided you a list Uh, fill in the blanks where you need to write the uh, complete the fill in the blanks and answer the questions in assignment 10 uh, much is not given to you as we have already completed the chapter and a lot has been done in this particular chapter uh, i have given only um, the questions and answers and i have an, uh, and i have requested or, or advised you to complete those question and answers in your classwork copy please follow the instructions provided in the assignment because many of you are not actually following the instructions provided so please follow it diligently okay now in assignment 10 as i told you you will have to do the questions and answers i have given you the answers you will write those questions and answers in your class work copy we will complete this chapter in this video itself and assignment 10 will be the last video sorry a last assignment with from this particular chapter uh, we will start with the next chapter in the next video as well as the next assignment until then i would request all of you as i requested in the uh, in the starting of the video that you need to read the chapter properly you need to understand the chapter properly until and unless you read it thoroughly you will not be able to understand the questions or whatever questions i ask you will not be able to understand so it is very necessary that you read the chapter well thoroughly maybe three times five times and even 10 times also you need the read the chapter if you feel like read it as a story it's not something which is very boring read it like a story because it will be interesting for you i understand and i know very well that a chapter when it is read once then it will you will not feel like reading it twice or thrice but then that is not the question you have to read it this is something very important you know um uh, exams might happen any day so your uh, syllabus can be come your syllabus will come so you need to prepare yourself for your exams from now on so read the chapter well and i'm sure you are going to do that very well uh, and before i leave i would like to request all of you to uh, study in the morning and in the evening not always don't take extra pressure but sit to study in the morning and in the evening and till then stay at home and stay safe thank you students i have prepared a slide share for you just go through that uh, slide share no need of writing just a quick recap of whatever we have learned in this particular chapter if you still face any problem you can always contact me through telegram app